This is a very important word. Prefer Instagram and, important word, have a tattoo. So notice both and. So they, we're not just looking for anybody that likes Instagram. We're not looking for just anybody who has a tattoo. Both things have to be true about the person. So that's very important in the and or intersecting percentage. All right, well, again, they said what percentage of all students, right? Of, of, remember, refers to the total. So if it says of all the people or of all the dogs or of all the cats, right, we're going to use the grand total again. So we should be using the grand total as our total. But where am I going to find the people that both prefer Instagram and have a tattoo? Okay, well, that, if you remember, that's really those where the cell where the, that row and column meet. We sometimes call that the intersecting cell. So we're looking for where Instagram's row meets tattoo column. So here's Instagram's row, the second row. Here's tattoo column, it's the first column. And we see they meet at right here, 41. These are the people that both things are true of, right? The 41 is in the tattoo column, and it's also in the Instagram row. So these 41 people have a tattoo and like in, prefer Instagram as their favorite social media. Okay, so that's going to be the amount we're looking for. So in, a, in an and or intersecting percentage, you're looking for the intersecting cell, where the row and the column meet, divided by the grand total. So in our case, 41 divided by 326. Again, I'll put that into my calculator. By the way, do not divide the bottom by the top, right? Remember, this division means divide in that order. Okay, division is not commutative, right? It's a, you, have to, you have to get this in the right order. So 41 divided by 326, and we get 0.125766, and it just keeps going, right? Remember, that's called the proportion. Proportion. But again, I'm going to round my answer to the third decimal to the right of the decimal point. So I really want to round to that 5. If I look to the number to the right of it, it's a 7. So that means I'm going to round up. So I'm going to add 1 to the 5, and my, my approximate proportion would be 0 0.126. In fact, if this was calculated on a computer program for you, and a lot of computer programs will calculate these for you, um, this is how it would be written usually, 0 0.126. Now, what if, if, if a problem just said what proportion of all the students both prefer Instagram and have a tattoo, I could leave my answer just like that, 0 0.126. That's the proportion. But this problem said what percentage? So I'm going to go ahead again and multiply by 100, right? Move the decimal two places to the right, I get 12.6%. Notice again, in my percentage, I only have one number to the right of the decimal, which is kind of the way I want it. So 12, approximately 12.6% 12 of students uh, both prefer Instagram and have a tattoo, okay? So and means intersecting cell divided by grand total. All right, now, what about or? We sometimes refer to this as um, a, also a type of joint percentage, but now we're looking for um, an either or situation. We're not looking for um, people that, only people that both things are true about, but we're looking for um, a percentage where either one of two things could be true about a person or object. We sometimes refer that to as a union probability or a union uh, proportion. So think of it as a, as a um, and usually you'll hear that word or, or either or. That's a really good sign that you're dealing with a union. You don't want to treat a union like an intersection. There really are different things in terms of probability theory. So you really want to make sure, what is the question asking? Is it saying a union, an or, or is it saying intersection, an and? So let's look at this example. What percentage of all the students either prefer Snapchat or do not have a tattoo? So Snapchat or do not have a tattoo. Now notice what that's saying. I have to include anybody that does not have a tattoo regardless of what social media they like. I also have to regard everybody that prefers Snapchat whether or not they have a tattoo. So if either of these two things is true about the person, 
I have to include them in my probability or in my proportion or percentage. Okay, so either or, very important words, either or, right? So we come, sometimes we refer that to it as a union percentage. Now, when you're trying to find an or or a union percentage, what you want to do is you want to really add up all the people that are in either of the two, um, either of the two categories. So, um, and the, one of the key things is when you do this adding, don't add things twice. I know some of you think the word and means add. It actually doesn't. Uh, when you hear and, that means usually two things are true. In probability theory, ands often refer to multiplication properties of uh, probability. But ors are usually addition, right? So this is, we're going to need to add up everybody that prefers Snapchat plus everybody that does not have a tattoo. And the main thing is don't add things twice. So the easy, actually easy way to do this is just add up all the people that are in either of those two restriction on either of those two categories. So if we looked at Snapchat, right? Well, that would be 11 plus 60, right? Right here, 11 plus 60. And then we also want to add up everybody that does not have a tattoo. So 56, 83, 21. I already added the 60. I don't want to add it twice and then add the other 21. Okay, so I'm going to do 11 plus 60, plus 56, plus 83, plus 21, plus 21. I basically added all the numbers in this column, the no tattoo column and the Snapchat row, but I did not add the 60 twice. Okay, that's really important. And this is also why you can't use the totals. I know some of you are thinking, oh, well, I'll just add the 241, which is the total for no tattoo, plus the 71 which is the total for Snapchat. If you did that, you would get the wrong answer because you'll have added these 60 people twice. Okay? So I will show you uh, what to do if you want to use the totals, but the most direct way to do an OR problem is simply to add all the numbers in that row or column and don't add things twice and don't use the totals. Okay, so if we add all those up, and then we're going to divide by the grand total. Notice again it said what percentage of all the students, right? Of, think total. Out of what group? So since they said of all the students, I want to use the grand total again. So that, if I add those up, that gives me 252 out of 326. Or if I divide that on my calculator, I get 0.773. 006. Again, if I go ahead and uh, round that to the third decimal place, that would be the 3. Remember, this is the proportion. Proportions we round to the third decimal place. Look to the number to the right of it. It's a 0. That means I'm going to round down. Round down, remember, means leave the 3 alone. So we're just going to get approximately the proportion would be 0.773. Okay? So 0.773, that's my proportion. Again, if I want to turn that into a percentage, I multiply by 100 or move the decimal two places to the right, and I get 77.3%. So approximately 77.3% of the students either prefer Snapchat or do not have a tattoo. Now, there is another formula. I know some of you were like bound and determined. You really want to use the totals, right? All right, well, it turns out that you can do that. Here's an alternate formula that you'll sometimes see in probability books. Um, you take, if you're looking for a union percentage or a union probability, an or, then take the probability of each of the, or the proportion for each of the variables. So in other words, if I'm doing Snapchat or no tattoo, I would do the proportion for Snapchat plus the proportion for no tattoo. But what will happen is I'll have, I'll have basically added these the 60 twice. So what you do is you subtract out that 60. So that if you minus the intersecting percentage, so you would minus Snapchat and no tattoo. Um, and this formula works very well, uh, especially with computer programs, because a lot of times a computer program will calculate these percentages for you, or these proportions for you. And if you know this rule about 
getting ORs, you can actually plug in the numbers and get your OR. Most computer programs will calculate ANDs and marginal percentages, but they don't calculate ORs. Um, so you may want to make a note of that formula for, especially if you're using a computer program to calculate these proportions. So notice the percentage, uh, percentage of Snapchat or proportion for Snapchat. So Snapchat would be 71 out of 326, right? Proportion for no tattoo, no tattoo would be 241 divided by 326. And then we're going to subtract out Snapchat and no tattoo, the, the percentage of people that both those things are true about. So the intersecting percentage. So we're basically going to subtract out 60 divided by 326. Okay? And if you did that, you would get 252 out of 326 or 77.3 percent. You'd get the same exact answer. All right, so I'm hopefully that was helpful. We're going to continue um, in our next video. We're going to talk more about uh, conditional percentages or conditional proportions when the total is not the grand total. All right, so we'll see you in the next video.